Hi, my name is Tim. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Grab your snacks because we're about to watch Backdraft release in 1991. Today we got a classic action slash thriller movie. I really never heard of this movie before, so it's going to be really interesting going into this movie. We have so many big actors. William Baldwin over here, Kurt Russell, Donald Sutherland right here, Robert De Niro, and many, many more. Bit of an older movie over here today. This was a Patreon request. If y'all want to watch the entire movie with me, want to watch the full-length reaction, or request for me to watch anything over here on the channel, you can check the link in the description below. Check out the Patreon page, or like access to future videos, all of that good stuff right here. So yeah, let's just hop into it. Backdraft. I think this is gonna be interesting seeing an older action movie. I haven't seen one in quite a little bit, I'd say. Oh, wow. Ron Howard. Ron Howard. I did not know that this was a Ron Howard movie. Look at that. 1971. Okay, we're in Chicago here today. Wanna come along? Let your old man earn his keep. Dad. Ah, oh, Steven, you've come a dozen times. Now give your brother a chance, huh? What do you say? I mean, that's fair. That's fair. How about a sport? Sure! Come on! I'm just scared. Is something gonna happen to my dad? It always does in these kinds of movies. No. 1545 out of while. Oh. Kurt Russell. I thought we'd get like 20 years later or something like that, but apparently not. Maybe not. Hans Zimmer. I already know I'm gonna love this movie. Hans Zimmer is in this, of course. I mean, he did the music for this. This gotta be so fun for a kid, especially with your dad, right? Why? Everything I want in the whole world is up there on the second All floor! Right, up behind hey, me all my there. stuff's up there! Stuff doesn't matter. You're alive. Your animals are alive. Your family's alive. Okay, now I'm scared something's gonna happen to the kid, right? Because he was involved or was a little bit too Hey, that's your old man up there, Brian! Gotta say, very respectable job doing this, right? Takes a lot. <laughs> Yo, there's no equipment, there's like no mask, no nothing. That's gotta All be right, dangerous. We got it. Come on. Is something gonna happen to Dad? Please tell me nothing's gonna happen to Kurt Russell. Hold on, Is that a Are we just getting Kurt Russell for a second? Or are we just getting him for one? Oh my god, yo. They probably saved some money on casting. Oh my god, just having him for a sec. <laughs> yeah. What a reveal. Ooh. Yeah, and it's not him. And it's not him that's out of here. Ugh. That's how we start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the photographer as well. Right now, do you think this is a good timing? Whoa, it's 71. Backdraft. Ooh. Yeah, it'd be a little bit darker than I thought, honestly. And there you go. That was 71. Now we're at 91. Oh, you held on to this, huh? 17! Oh! I got 17! <laughs> Okay, this is right from the Academy, who got accepted. Okay, that's what we're celebrating. Director Sales. Do you know for the kind of growth and challenge I need? What's the matter with you? Aren't you even curious? He's not even gonna look. He doesn't want to, you know... Team, right? ...be defeated. How'd you know you prick? These are supposed to be sealed. Lucky guess. And a case of scotch to the captain over at station assignments? Oh. <laughs> you crooked oh. son of a bitch! What? What? Okay, this is third on purpose. 20 years later? Please tell me the two are not gonna be related. The first one was like an explosion, but it was like 20 years ago. Hey, McCaffrey! That's my cousin's company, come on! Oh, hello. So, I don't know. We're... Wanna go out sometime, you know? Maybe you and I could, uh, get together for a beer or something sometime. My man, my man. A beer? I mean, anything else you want? You're, you're acting like I, uh, just saw you last week. 
When I haven't seen you in what, six years, Brian? Yeah, you cannot just jump in for life like that. Come on, Brian. Come on, we got a fire to go to, man. Legit, like someone is burning down right now. Possible danger? Nope, doesn't matter. Time to flirt. Why are you happy? Why are you happy, bro? Something's burning down. Second lead out. What the fuck are you talking about? Get out of here. Right. Oh my god, are you settling? This is the real shit, man. The real thing. Is this good? This is supposed to be good. Oh, at least he's taking this seriously. Oh. He has the trauma. Like he's a photographer, but the trauma of his dad or whatnot. Oh. Stop taking pictures of this shit. He sees his dad. He sees his dad, right? Oh. Thanks for coming to my graduation today, brother. Real inspiration. Wait, wait. I'm sorry, man. Wait, is that the brother or is that the dad? What? What? I thought that was the dad, but now we're 20 years later and now that's the brother. I'm confused. At first, I thought it was like a apparition of his dad, like him. Kind of seeing his dad that in his mind or what not. Okay, uh, he is indeed playing both characters. Sorry about that. Let's resume. Talk to Chief Fitzgerald. He decided that maybe you shouldn't be way over on the other side of town where I'd never get to see you. So starting mm. tomorrow, you're going to be with the toughest company in the city. 17. Michael. Oh my god, of course. Oh, of course. He's going to make you work <laughs> for him, huh? <laughs> One case of scotch, Brian. Man, you get cheap in your old age. What if it's one of the firefighters? Oh, that's the hero. Okay, I don't think it's him. Not like that starts with fire rider. Somebody wanted to kill this dude that lived hey, here. Like that's messed up. But yeah, these people should get out of here. This is kind of messed up. Just seeing this. Oh wait, are we gonna be going back in time? Imagine that constant little back and forth. We don't need no stinking spinach. Hey, who's this stranger, Mom? <laughs> Come here, it's okay. Hello? Yeah, yeah, he doesn't remember you. He doesn't know you at all. Remember your Uncle Brian? No. Do you remember him? I mean, yeah, he was probably a baby, hey, right? Hey, Sean, man. Who's your daddy today? Uh, S Stephen's not staying here anymore. Mm. He moved out last April. Oh, shit, it's separating. You guys should just try picking up the phone once in a while, you know? That was an awkward interaction. Ay, ay, ay. This is where he lives right now. <laughs> I mean, I hey. guess if you live in a hot climate, right? But this is Chicago, right? Hey, I, uh, Maybe he's just repairing it. Talk what to Helen. Saying? I gotta tell you, I love what you've done with the place. Yeah, it's coming along. Wow, what renovation. What are you doing here? Saying he doesn't want to work with you, maybe? Well, I want to know why you mess with my stations. I mean, come on, does this really have to be one of those big brother, little brother, you broke my G.I. Joe and I'm still piss games? Come How do you manage to keep coming up with new and amazing ways to fuck up? Damn, yeah, Scotch okay. bullshit. We're bankrupt, man. The so. scary thing is, you probably could have got away with it for a while. But now he wants to straighten you out, right? That's why. You have a bad day here, somebody dies. You gotta take it very seriously, bad. right? First day on the job, gonna be late. Right at the beginning, huh? Oh, shit! And he's late. And he's late for the first assignment. Oh. Oh my god, brother. Ugh. Damn! I'm Brian! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to the team. I'm sorry. Shake and bake, boys! I think we got a buck. This is gonna be a big one, big job, okay. I wonder what sort of training do they do before doing this type of movie or whatnot. They gotta go through some sort of school, maybe a couple of weeks training or whatnot. Now, really? Really, just because they park here? <laughs> you couldn't do right in front of it? You, you, you couldn't? You couldn't? You're doing it wrong. 
But do we right, really have time for this? Do we really have time to criticize right now? Come on, man. How come we don't have masks? We don't have ma Okay, he has some. Showtime. But he's like the only one wearing a mask. None of y'all are wearing one. I don't know. But I feel like that should be normal procedure, especially for something like this. Or at least something to block it a little bit. Damn. Damn. Get some water! Yo, that has so much pressure. Hey, Nightingale! Save your fucking air, man. Pull down that wall! Here. Got it. I get it, you got a limited amount of air, but still, like, it should not be safe. Imagine being in the fumes like this for 20 years. That must not be good for you. All right, hookers, I'm doing standpipe! Come on, Brian, hustle! Okay. I'm scared we're gonna lose the uh, brother. I'm scared we're gonna lose Kurt Russell again! Oh no, is that gonna lead to an explosion? Is that an explosion? It's in the walls! <laughs> Yeah, when they come tracks like that, I thought it was coming together to kind of blow up like this. Yeah, blow up. Call me. I'm in. So where's the second in companies, huh? Sorry, man. John Wayne time. You're on your own, boss. Oh, no backup. No nothing. Shit. Dig in. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't know how you save this. Gotta save your lives before the building. Damn. 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 This is 1991. How did they do this? They had to do... They must have did a lot of practical stuff. This cannot be CG. This cannot be all effects. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Oh, yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's gonna die. Yeah, this is not safe at all. Y'all gotta get out of the building. Oh, my God. I'm going. You go. We go. Oh my, that's solidarity of your brothers. Come on, come on, everybody, come on. Together, together, together. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's let's get out of this building, okay? It's not worth dying over this. It, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It sucks for a building, but. The chief says they think we got one left behind downstairs, the civilians. Take Tim and do a search. Let's go, kid. Oh God, is Tim gonna die? Not Tim. What a beautiful name. <laughs> Yeah, someone's here. Someone's here. You have to go for um. God, please tell me nothing's gonna happen to him now. Here? His first day. His first day. Ah! No, were you too late for that person? Were you too late? I got one. Oh, okay. 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 I got one. You know, I have a first day as well. That's good. That's good. I'm afraid you're a little too late with this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. He's gonna be ready to kill forever. Forever for this shit. Oh, no. Yeah, that's gonna be his nickname forever. Mannequin or some shit. Oh, my God. First day on the job and this happens. You didn't get burned, did you? I think he cares just in his own way, right? He cares about you. I told you to stay right the fuck inside me, Brian! He wants to take care of you. He doesn't want to lose you like the dad. Maybe that was a wrong thing, right? Having y'all together, bringing your brother in right here. Y'all are smoking! Y'all are sm smoking here? My god, the 90s was a different time. The 90s were a different time. We still haven't gotten a fire report from your office. Get that answer as soon as I do, ma'am. A man gets stuffed through the windshield of his own car. I mean, that's best. I mean, is that an accident or is it arson? People are asking me. I gotta tell them something. I mean, it's not just a fire. It's clearly an explosion, right? I'm starting to get the feeling that your office is dragging out this case to embarrass the alderman because of his fire department cutbacks. I have a very uncomplicated job to decide if a fire is arson or not. And if so, to catch a son of a bitch doing it. I mean, that's and if fair. my investigative that's methods happen to muck up the campaign of certain mayor wannabes, since you shut down 33. Well, there's no fucking backup, right? I and mean, we do. We appreciate it. I mean, I don't know about the rest of the guys, but you got my vote for mayor. Look, Lieutenant, if you have a problem, why don't you help us? Why don't you work with the task force? Task force? On this? Yeah. Three guys have died already this year because of the cuts made by your fucking task force. Oh my god, three guys already? Damn. If anybody's lights are about to go out, believe me, they're yours. Is that a threat? Is that a threat? Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, fellas. 
did a great job today, by the way. Uh huh. That's how you want to appear publicly. Bodie. Bodie licious. Showering with your brother, I guess. There we were, Ed Cox and me, pulling that lady right out of the fire's fucking throat. I mean, that's, that's, life, that's pretty man. good. That's pretty good, yeah. Woo! 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 And he saved a mannequin. Yeah, fighting 17th, goddamn! <laughs> right when the shit was coming hard. He said, you never know. Till the moment the fire stares you down. Mm. You're just gonna do this job or be great at it, right? You using that line of shit on you now? And it's working. Oh. Gem up? Come on, my old man used to use that line every other day. Before he died. Snow line, man. Oh my god, messing with him. Messing with him. It's lunch, bro, bitch. Let's get started. There you go. Ah! One of them not even dressed up. One of them not even... <laughs> Accident or murder? That's the question arson investigators are struggling with tonight after a freak explosion known by firefighters as a backdraft. There it is. Backdraft. Therm. I did not know that term. There you go. He's been identified as Alan Seagrave, a prominent yeah. Chicago CPA. An accountant. Okay, he knew some shit. He not only took on a beast, but pulled from its clutches, assisted by a more famous and brilliant firefighter, <laughs> me, uh, a kicking and screaming civilian who will probably wind up suing us for breaking our fingers. That must happen a lot, right? <laughs> Of course, of course, we're gonna bring that up. <laughs> yeah, that's how I was gonna stay here. I was gonna stay here forever. The funny looking Tim and the McCaffrey brothers, who, despite the fact that they've gotten on each other's nerves for years, have managed with great effort to still be pissed off at each other. Yep. Fuck you! <laughs> at least we're honest, at least we're being honest about all of this right now. Oh my. <laughs> Yo, feel like I'm in a rush hour right now, right? <laughs> this was done before. I think this is quite a few years before, actually. You know, such a fun song. Oh. <laughs> I know I speak for everybody here. You gotta change the view. I couldn't have wished for a. Come on, man. Come on, man. Go over and talk to her, right? It's been a while, you know. Last conversation wasn't the best, but. Probationary fireman Brian McCaffrey on his very first fire showed the kind of bravery and courage of a veteran firefighter when he risked life and limb to double check a burning floor alone. <laughs> Emerging victoriously with Anna Rodriguez, a seamstress for the North Shore Clothing no. Company. Hey, Axe, get a load of this. No, he got all the credit in the papers. No. As a subject of a 1972 Pulitzer Prize winning photograph taken at the scene that's of the That's me, right death. there. I mean, that's it. It's a story. It's a story. It kind of makes sense. Okay, that's nice. I love it. That if you get your picture in the paper, even if it's bullshit, then you gotta buy the whole company and drink. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's it. Oh, on a hero. What is this? I mean, that's good. That's really good PR for you, you know? Like, kind of bringing back your dad's death. And now you gotta pay. You really should be proud of what you did to help save that woman's life. That was a hell of a job. You shouldn't believe everything you read in the papers, old man. Oh, don't be so modest, Brian. See that? You know, don't say it. Don't say anything. It's a mannequin. I mean, at least he's being honest, right? Look, Brian. Yeah, that doesn't matter. It's a story. Let me just get down, okay? I've been uh, checking you out. Jennifer can't say enough about you. Really? Really? Yeah, but the great thing about this job is that it's still with the fire department. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now he needs an extra pair of hands. Yeah. That so this is just extra work. Office, okay. I want it to be you. How's that? Because of her. I want someone from a real traditional firefighting clan. Yeah, we got all kinds of traditions, like dying young. Thanks anyway. Damn, yeah, that's it. That's it. Nah, she's gonna convince him. I mean, why don't you go tell Swayze to talk to one of them? Yeah, why specifically him, right? Maybe she wants to give you a chance. It took a train to draw me over. Yeah, while your ex is here, that's kind of weird. I'm generous now. Oh no, oh no, oh god. Oh god. Steven, what about that dumbass brother of yours? Wait, wait a second. He's saving a mannequin. I mean, how fucking stupid can a guy get? Oh no, he's taking that personally. He's taking that personally. I call him that. You gotta find Chef. <laughs> Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, of course. And now brother's gonna go and help out brother, right? <laughs> oh my 
my god. Jesus, Steve, you never know when to quit, do you? Do you ever wonder why you're stuck a fucking lieutenant for life? It'd be because of this kind of shit, right? No. I mean, now he's gonna question it. Yeah, this is not gonna help you win her back. It's not. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Who's screaming like that, by the way? Like, come on, lady. Listen, I can walk by myself. <laughs> oh, no, you can't. No, you can't. His ex is a great guy. Huh? I mean, he doesn't know shit about what I want. So what do you want out of life? Do you kind of want to be stuck in this state forever? I don't trust me anymore, right? Maybe because of this kind yeah, of I shit. I just don't trust me anymore. Gotta prove yourself. Hey. Maybe he has more of a heart. Great, right? don't you think? It could. Yeah. Just take it out on weekends. Shine me. We can just flow. That's all he wants, right? All right, now get it on your shoulder, Proby. It's not a practicing getting better and better, right? When you open your door. Man with the law. I mean, they have a lot of various jobs, like saving cats from trees. I don't know if it's very stereotypical, but I, I guess saving chickens. It's do a long, slow You're not breaking any records, Brian. Get it on your shoulder. Oh, like yeah. 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 <laughs> brother versus brother, right? <laughs> yeah. no. Run, damn you. I mean, it's always going to be a competition, those two, right? He made it, he did it. <laughs> Yo, are they gonna fight? Ooh. Yeah, that's bad. That's... Are you okay? Yeah. No, that's not good. That, that's not good. Run, damn you! <laughs> that's definitely requiring stitches. <laughs> oh, shit. What about Tim? What about Tim? What about me? For Christ's sake, next time I'll let you win. I mean, he's hurt, buddy. Gotta... He's hurt. Come on. How proby is that in? No! I don't have a problem with drilling, but let's just have one drill, Lieutenant. I'm not gonna quit, Steven, you hear me? Hmm. Does he make you? I'm not gonna quit! Does he wanna make you quit? My baby is still a family! Yo, lady, you just abandoned your baby? <laughs> don't take that kind of shit from it! Don't let her know you're scared! Mm, that's good, that's good. Okay, teach it, teach it. You gotta wait for a host team. No time! Man, at least a mask. Oh, no shit, that's good. that means it's gonna blow up. That means it's gonna blow up. Come on! Yeah, with the contracts like that? And now you've got a kid, ugh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Quick, Steven, we gotta wait for Just a host jump team! Just when I say it won't get us! I feel like it's gonna blow, I feel like it's gonna blow. Hold your breath! Okay, kid's still alive, baby's still there. I feel like all of the fire training, all of that. Like, you probably learned tactics, you probably learned what to do in this kind of situation, right? No? Wait, we're not losing Kurt Russell twice. We're not losing Kurt Russell twice in this movie. We're not, right? Come on, don't do that to us. Don't do that to me. Way to go, Bo. I mean, he was scared for a sec, yeah. His brother was. And that was, uh, that was pretty crazy, huh? And pretty crazy irresponsible. You did it all the way, Steven. You were really a hero today. Mm. The letter brother respects you, he does. It's not about being a hero. I went in because there was a kid up there. You know, I mean, you're still being a hero. I, you're still doing it. Because that's my way. And it was dad's way. What did he tell you that in a fucking seance, Steven? And that huh? got him killed. Fine. That got him killed. Fine. That's gonna get you killed. You know something? You win, Steven. You're the best. Man, you gotta help your little brother. You gotta encourage him. Listen, Jen, I, uh... That you want a job now, right? Uh, I've been thinking about what you said the other night, and if the offer's still on the table, I'd, I'd like to talk about it. Well, great. <laughs> okay. That, that's great. Really great news. Okay. The Alderman will be thrilled that you're working with us. But now the itch starts, right? The glory boy flash starts. Hey, I'm a hero. Heroes don't just stand around. You can tell me. That's what it was, wasn't it? Yes, sir. I mean, that's fair. You so you punched out a window for ventilation. You could have burned or killed or crisped half that company. Now you go home and you think about that. 
I would not mess with De Niro. Like, man, like, if he was my boss or somebody that I was working with, like, damn. Why don't you go find a corner to hide in? I'll get to you later. I don't want to have to deal with you now. Damn. God damn. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's seen shit. Okay. Damn, keeping those memories or keeping these things. This way I can know you work for me now. Okay, you step out of line, you make okay. one false move, you're out of here. And don't think you're the first. Where are we going? Pest control. Hmm. Imagine shit. after all of this, it's not arson at all, right? It's just random fires. Come on, Shadow. He lost his dad to the animal, and you didn't even tell him who he was coming to see. The animal. The animal. I just lost my concentration, I guess, and my animal turned on me. Got the whole place going like hell. Oh my god, he's not good, he's not good. Hand, everything, I was dead. But you survived. I was alive, I was being pulled out of there by my hero, my shadow here. Is that the dad, is that the dad? Except of course oh, no, he him. didn't see this big tub of phosphorus, did you? Okay, him, oh. Still shy about rolling up your sleeve, shadow? Show him your stomach. Fuck Funny you. Funny thing about firemen. Screw you, man. Night oh. and day, they're always firemen. So do they expect him to be the guy? Mr. Bartell, do you regret your crimes? Yes. Of course you gotta say yes, of course you will. If released, will you commit these crimes again? Of course no. you gotta you say no. Of course. You remember this, Ronald? You remember who it belonged to? What did you do to that little girl, Ronald? I burned her. Oh you my god, her. he loves it. Ah. What do you do to old ladies, Ronald? Burn them, <laughs> my god. Burn them. What about the world, Ronald? Yeah, he's not ready. He is not ready to come back into society. Is there a way to really rehabilitate these people? Or if it's a mental illness or whatnot? <clears throat> it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow. Oh my god. Is that Ronald? Is that Ronald's fault? It's gotta be somebody else's fault because... Yeah, we figured the body's the owner. Some guy named Cosgrove. God damn. <laughs> but if it's that Ronald guy... Somebody for Ronald guys working with, maybe? Like, we're not establishing that plot point for nothing. <laughs> well, let's go. Is that hey. a betrayal? Captain. Need a special invitation? Come on. Fire never got hot enough here to cook the suit off. Come on, you sneaky little son of a bitch. Trying to find the origin, right? Origin of a fire right now, huh? That's a little dead rat critters here. But they, they don't seem to be burning. in this room, took its time. But then the air ran out, so it couldn't breathe. It was snuffed. But it wasn't dead. Okay, that makes sense. Well, if it's arson, somebody figured a new way to hide it. Okay. But that can just happen we that got big Alex from an C. outlet. Ray and Donald Cosgrove. It's a combination of plumber's putty and rayafine gum. It burns almost completely. Yeah, that's not natural. I feel like that's not natural. So it was on both doors. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, here, we're going to have to lift it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the scary part. That's the scary part. Oh. And on a lucky shot, they picked up traces of something. What was it? Uh, a trick to chlorate. Nobody around here has ever heard of it. Yeah, well, we figured it probably got in his clothes in a gas state from the fire. Yeah, what was it doing in the fire? That's your job. Okay. That means it's not natural, right? Somebody did it. Take the top one. Oh, he recreated it. He recreated it. You don't love fire. You love the explosion. The killer. He used magnesium to make it look like an accident. And he made his burns back drafts. Mm. Yeah, but he killed these guys. But yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. Whoever fried Seagrave and Cosgrove went to a hell of a lot of trouble to make sure they died by fire, but they also made sure that the fire blew itself out. You got a stone killer trying to make a point. Yeah, he's trying to kill. He's not trying to cause fire. I mean, you're the dude. You know, Ronald wants to see the world burn, so I don't think it would be him. And he's also in prison, right? Or... Let's get a picture with Mr. McCaffrey and myself, huh? <laughs> Thanks. For his campaign since he was in the paper, right? That should be you. That should be you. I have a feeling he's gonna return at some point, right? Feels guilty. That should be you. I mean, at this rate, he won't declare it's arson before he retires. 
Oh my god, yo, these people are hella drunk. Will you get me out of here? Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go and pick her up. Okay, okay. The relationship went from, yo, I haven't seen you in six years to, hello. They show me a fire truck. Is that supposed to mean something else? Oh, it did. It actually did. I'm surprised ring emergencies. Do they normally like close the elevators, right? Or at least now they do. How do we know if the floor is going to be on fire on one of these? Well, when the door is open, if it's hot, don't get out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. No mask. No mask. All right, Axe, why don't you go with Pangeli? Take the other side. Don't go splitting us up again, man. It ain't safe. I haven't got time for this, Axe. Let's go to work. No. Let me take the lead, Steven. Something's got to happen. Something's got to happen. Man, do your job. They need a line over there. Something's got to happen to him. Come on, If he Axe. dies after all this. Oh. You really know walkie-talkies? There's no way of communicating right here. She's hot and smoky, but she's not rolling yet. What do you do at that point? Do you wait or you just do holes in the wall, start spraying? Oh, shit! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna go on the job with them. We're gonna go on the job with them. Oh my. Yeah, we're gonna continue making out. Oh my. Uh, I guess we don't have to help out. I mean, if he's here, he's on the job, right? Oh, please tell me Tim's not gonna die. Not the rookie. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure you check it first. No, 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 no. Backdraft, backdraft, backdraft. Tim. Not Tim. He's fucked. He's fucked. He's fucked. He. Oh my god. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, but try to breathe. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, he's gotta feel responsible, right? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. This definitely felt like a setup. Definitely felt like arson. Steve, you alright? He ain't good. He ain't good. I mean, yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. You burned him, Steven! God damn, don't say that. Fuck you! Don't you walk away from me! <laughs> Yo, guys, go! Oh my god, the siblings, bros, bros, bros. Oh my god, yo. Think Kurt Russell like that at <laughs> Yeah, don't you have any leads at all? No, Marty, I don't. Nothing so far. Right? In fact, we haven't found any connection between the victims at all. We've got Seagrave, Cosgrove, and now Holcomb. Okay, and what do I have in common? Goddamn list. The list. What I makes know him the name of that victim had been released yet. How does he know? Is he involved? Yo, if he is involved. Yo, if he's involved. Okay. That's my prediction. It's a living thing, Brian. Breathes, I mean, it is, yeah. It eats. So why did it not consume the room until then, right? Uh-huh. This is all planned. It has to be. But the only way to truly kill it is so to... What are you going to do? Just like Ronald. So what are you going to do? What is he going to do? There's a fire in the building right now. Okay. okay. Chen, we checked and your boss was partners with all three of the murder victims in a company called Lakeside Dynamics. Oh, He's my God. Oh why. my god, the boss knows. Oh my. He's involved. He's evidently involved. I don't know anything about it. Do you know what you're asking me to do? Yes, betray your boss, yes. You're asking me to just throw that all your away. Your boss is a liar, Jennifer. It's hard, but it's true. It's actually true, right? Jesus Christ, Marty. What's going on? Marty? He's so drunk. He's so drunk right now. Or pills. Or... Yeah. You've got to level with me, Marty. Is there something about these deaths that you're not telling me? Yeah. No. Come on. Come on. Stop lying. 
stop lying. He feels guilty. He's he's stuck in this, right? Maybe if it's not him, he knows. He knows, even if it's not him. I'm sorry. <laughs> so she's losing her That's job for opening, for talking, for helping you right now. Mr. Swayzak. Imagine he does it in his own home. He expected you guys right here. No, is that a ghastly? Is that a ghastly? He did not do this in his own home. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! There you go, there you go! God damn, oh my god, I did not expect this movie to go this way! Oh shit, he was murdered! He was killed! Oh, it's not him! It's not him, it's not him. Come on! Come on! But now we gotta know his involvement here. Oh my god. I think I got a problem here. No, was he stabbed? Was he stabbed? Did something fly into him? I hope we'll see the kid. God damn, that went through him. Holy shit. Yes, yes, yes. I want to know if this kid really wanted to be a firefighter. Just like his dad. <laughs> just answer who did it. If you know, just tell us. My God. Okay. I'm out of here. Okay, no, 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 no. I wanted to be him, okay? I wanted to be him more than anything. And you loved him. Yes, of course. That's his dad. Who the hell's doing this, huh? Yes, answer. Just answer. Did it look at you? Oh my god, dude, just fucking answer. They won't let him have any fun, so they don't love him. Now, who does? It's a firefighter. It's a firefighter. And is around drink to chloride all day long. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? Another firefighter? Am I lost? Oh my god. Not your brother. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Look, I gotta, I gotta get back. There's something I was supposed to do. What? What do you gotta do? Oh shit, he knows you knows. He knows, oh my god, what? Are you gonna get in front of him right now? That's my question. Or you probably better to wait. Good job, Ryan. And he changed forever worse. Oh. Sometimes right when you're looking at him. What's going on with you, Steven? That's a very good question. Know. Look at his back. I gotta go. Look at his back, right? If he has a burn or some shit. He's getting rid of all of it. He's getting rid of it. Oh my god. So what what do you do now? Oh my god. Do you report him? I mean if you say, hey, it might be my brother doing all this, you're gonna look absolutely insane. You're gonna look crazy, right? Oh, gonna look at his back. Gonna look at his back. What if it's some of you men here, right? So multiple men are in on it? Oh my god. God damn. He and Steven? What were they doing on the boat, Steven? Axe gave them to me. They just cleaned oh. up the boat. Oh, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Are you a part of this? Be honest. Be honest. You're sure? Oh my god, don't get involved. That's the only thing I am sure of anymore. Okay. Okay. I'm just glad. Okay, it's not a wrestle. It's not. Okay. He's in danger. He's not gonna be in danger. He's gonna be in danger now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's gonna go in. He's gonna go in. There you go. But what do you do? Do you just ignore it for now? Like, that's it? Like, did he think he was gonna get away for it indefinitely? Gonna get away from it forever? Oh my god. No, he's gonna tip. Oh my god. Oh my god, if they're up there, if they're already up here. I thought he's gonna try to kill Steven, right? He's gonna try to find a way. Oh no, no, it's gonna be a bad draft. It's gonna be a bad draft. Somebody had to stop these pricks, Steven. Give me X. Will you please? Yeah, but not like this, not like this. Did you start that fire? Jesus Christ, oh, why'd you have to go in there so fucking early? 
That's why you. That's why he was trying. Oh. Let me finish Swayze. Oh, he was trying to stop over. you. He was trying to stop you, of course. Swayze. He killed our friends for money. What the fuck would you do? Uh, Look, you're his lieutenant, Steven. You've got to handle this. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. Get to the side, Brian! It's gonna go! Oh, God. What have you had to do to die here? Axe probably gonna die. Come on. Oh, my God. Like, how much of this was practical? Seriously, 1990. Like, wow. 17! Somebody! I'm in the elevator staff! Ugh. Ugh, oh, he can't say underwater indefinitely. Ugh. Oh. Gotta shut that. Gotta shut that valve. Oh my. Nice. Nice. Wait a minute, it's Brian. I mean, he's done. It's over. No, don't put it down. Don't put it down. Man, I get Yeah, I could have killed him. Bro, let him go. Let him go. Fire with fire, bitch. Get us. Get to Let him go to survive. You gotta let him go to survive. Go, bull. You go. We go. No. No, this doesn't apply here. He betrayed y'all. He... No! Wait, is he gonna survive this? He fell... He's gonna survive it? He's gonna survive it? Oh my god. Nice, nice. Don't move! Yo, he survived that shit. Oh. <laughs> Lil' bro's gonna save you. Lil' bro's gonna save a day. Oh my god. Oh no, shit. Oh my god, okay, that's bad. That's bad. Check out the Patreon. That's... Yeah, that can be shown on YouTube. I'm going for the hose. <clears throat> I know I've been saying, oh my god, a lot, but how, how the hell am I supposed to react to this? This is kind of insane. He got it. He got it. He got it. Look at him. He's doing that's it. That's my doing brother, goddammit. There you go. Finally. Gonna make it, man. Gonna make it. I mean, he has to. Ugh. I mean, Kara's dead at the beginning of a movie, so we're not gonna give him dying again. Please tell me you're not gonna die. Please tell me. You're gonna be alright. You hear me? You hang in there. No, Steven, he's not gonna make he's it. Not you now. Come on, man. Come on, Steven. Don't die. Come on, Steven. Yeah. Oh my god, you're not killing Steven. You're not killing Siren. He's giving up. He's giving up. He's you die on me now, you hear me? He's giving up, he's giving up already. almost there. Dad and your bro, he died for, uh, to save Adcox. <laughs> now we got the uh, funeral. Ugh. Oh man, that's sad, just lost his dad. Oh. God, what the hell, man? The same thing as the beginning. The same thing as him in the beginning, right? With his dad 20 years ago. Where to now? What to now? We have a subpoena for all the Nice. Nice, nice. Donald Cosgrove, Jeffrey Holcomb, and Alan Seagrave to create a phony manpower study. Very I go. Very I go. Ask him who made money or fireman dying. Oh, he's fine. Oh, he's screwed. Oh, he's screwed. You see that glow flashing in the corner of your eye? That's your career dissipation light. Nice. It just went into high gear. Nice. Time to go. Time to go to work. Seriously, still doing this after his dad and his bro died like this? Incredibly. Wow. Just, wow. Incredibly strong to be able to do all this. Over a million two hundred thousand. That's a lot. That seems like a lot, actually. Wow. Shout out to all of them. A lot of fires happening, right? That was it for Backdraft. A new term that I just learned uh, over here today. 
got a little confused at the very beginning right there with Kurt Russell and his character was kind of funny. But, you know, after 15, 20 minutes, I kind of forgot about that, was able to move on uh, from that. You know, it was a bit silly. But again, it was such at the beginning, we really did not spend a lot of moment with the dad. We spent a lot more time with, you know, Stefan and uh, Brian right here. I really thought he was it at the time. I really thought, you know, that kind of twist. I was like, oh shit, is it him? Could it be the brother? That would have been crazy. But no, it was another uh, member, Ad Adcox, right there. It kind of made sense. If we go back to the top of a building, not wanting to split up, don't go there too fast, him wanting to shake, take charge. I just thought he wasn't agreeing with him. But no, he knew what was going to happen, didn't want the other firefighters to go. He really had a motive for this, so it kind of makes sense. A very interesting movie right here. Let me know your thoughts on this movie. What was your reaction first time seeing it? And what else I should check out on the channel next? Any other firefighter-based movies right here? So thank you all so much for watching. Full length can be found in the link in the description below. Or like access to future videos. All of that good stuff right there. Here and here, you can check out two other videos as well. Here and here. Check it out.